there is a morbidity that is loose amongst people. And this is just coming from the Lord because this was my plan. There's a morbidity loose amongst people. The Lord is saying, cut that morbidity out. We are honoring death, decay. The decaying, the decadence of it all is what we are condensed in, cocooned in, congealed in filthiness, in disarray. This death-based consciousness, this morbidity, this morte, this overplay, this overkill of human life, this disregard for the sanctity of human life is getting out of control. Philosophies of morbidity creating ways of life that is morbid, decrepit and sapping of the life forces is getting out of control. You are getting too perverse in your demonics, in your glorification of demonic entities, in your glorification of morbidity, that which is spoiled, that which is decaying, that which is rotten, pit to the core, that it is sunken way beneath clarity. Morbidity is overrunning our society. Our children are growing up thinking that life is contained in gelatin capsules and popping pills of all manner of a hundred weight of cc's of energy condensed into these lies we call booster shots, energy, this and that morbidity slowly diffusing the life force in the cells the land the ways the means of the living dead taking over sorcery voodoo science all manner of perversion on the spiritual plane these 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 walking dead Transform, get alive, get some life in your veins, right? Get one, two, the heartbeat, feel the heartbeat. What's up with this death? It will not become me. Life be my death. It will not become me. This morbidity absorbed into, you're wrapping it up into these little nuttles, these little nudges, these little sausages. In your eating death, slowly easing it down, washing it down with a gallon full of more death. Your morbidity is overcoming society. The disco pop, dysfunctional, the scratching of the record, the jamming, and the gyre. Whack, whack up, spring off a kilter. Morbidity. Where's the life? Where's the flow? Where's that kiss of breath? Subtle wind. The gifts of God, which is life and life eternal to them and those that bear witness to his presence. Hallelujah. Morbidity. Have you feeling it's cool? You think it's cool to act dead? <laughs> you think it's cool to be dead and dissolve dead? I'm so dead. I'm cool dead. No, man. It's not cool to be dead, to act dead, not to want to promote death. That is the denigration of the soul. Life is the activity of living. That's it. Death is the end of that activity. Culture shouldn't be unto death. Lifestyles shouldn't be unto death. Lifestyle should be life in style. And style don't mean styles. It means life in styles. All the myriad wavelengths and frequencies. It's alive. It's alive, it's life. So all these cultures unto death, these morbid, decrepit ways of living, 
these Frankensteinian golemic cultures. It's a It's a No. It's their electrical impulse and it's golem. We are not going there. This is life. Not Eve Donna ways of the living dead. Not soulless head puppet bobbing. There's a life happening here. I'm not joining that culture that's turning our souls inside out and mocking God. It's godless. It's soulless. And you're dragging others into this soulless spit. It's just a split in our senses that others that have us heading to the pit has us heading to the edge. There is the open country. There it is most beautifully. There it is most resoundingly and clearly. So we are thankful for those of us who can see the beauty of the living cosmos and to be alive in it and to overcome the designs of morbidity, to overcome the designs of the fears and the lies being brought to us as death. Treasure the living moments. Treasure the joys of the living moment. Be at peace. Be truly in tune and in sync. Life is not a word, L-I-F-E, and a board that you spell back and forth to find the quirks of it. Life is this. It is reaching out to you now. It is in you reaching out. It's outside reaching in. It is us all. It is the wind in the trees in this moment. It is this place we are. It is the wonderful things we're about to continue to share in. And that's where it's at. When life drains out of you, the value and the ability to process the experience goes. Death is lack of energy. It is a turning off of the switch of life. It's a switching from function to no function. There's no compunctions in death. So all your fears, all your attitudes and your great visions will be of no value, will have no worth if you don't get the life into it, if you don't see the life in it. Others won't be able to benefit from it. Beyond the essence, never be possessed of it. Be in the benefit of it. And to be in the benefit of it, we've got to be out of the morbidity of it, which presents the possessions of it. So let us free ourselves from morbidity. Honor the word of the living spirit within ourselves. Honor the ways of the living Christ within our lives. Which is to have life and have it more abundantly. Look at the trees. They constantly expand more leaves, season to season, without reason. And they are beautiful, most magnificent. And we accept that we should be alive with great measure of solitude, peace, enthusiasm, energy, spirit, presence, the Most High, Divine Creator in our activities. Blessings to all my friends and familiar. Blessings to Brother Dan in Turtle Island, New York. Just giving thanks for your work, brother, and this journey. And give thanks to all my friends and all the people who are alive, living, and out of the world of the living dead, and is in the world of the living. Because this is where it's at. This is what Christ conquered death for. I say that again. This is what Christ conquered death for. So that this plane, this experience, this existence, could be secured, that our future generations could see it, though things were so out of alignment. Because had he not done that, this which we call life, to be able to have that joy, that peace, would have been overrun by morbidity. Make the sacrifice of the living Christ, 
capacity of great worth. Have life, beloved, more abundantly in the blessed nature that we are created to be. Blessings and honor. Until next time, remember, be that awesome living gift, full of life, radiant and magnificent. <laughs>